my dad, he passed away at 54. And so life isn't promised or guaranteed for any of us. And a lot of you listening right now just have this hypothetical age that you believe that you're going to live until, right? It might be 70, 80, 90, 100. And while I hope that you're right, and I hope that it's true, tomorrow isn't promised and we never know how much time we have left. And I believe in urgency to truly get the maximum amount of juice out of the squeeze of our lives and not procrastinate, not delay, not go maybe next time, next year, in the future, but now, now is what we have. going on guys welcome back to another episode of the diamond life mentor podcast with your host Balaj de Bicardos. and today is an extra special episode it happens to be my 38th birthday and that means level 38 is officially activated super super pumped and excited it also happens to be the last episode of my podcast coming out in 2023. It's just been the most incredible ride and what a special year it's been on so many different levels that I'll be talking about in this episode. I'm going to do a bit of a recap of some of my highlights, some of my favorite memories, favorite moments from level 37. And if you've been following along and listening to the podcast, I'm sure you've heard most of this, but I wanted to kind of summarize it for you and for me to really let it sink in just how incredible and special this year was. One of my philosophies around this whole idea of aging is turning it into a positive. A lot of people, especially as you get into your 30s, 40s, 50s, you start to look at things as the best is in your past. You know, your, your youthfulness is in your past. Your energy is in the past. The best days of your life are in the past. And while that might be true in some ways, I choose to focus on what is more empowering and positive and looking at it as an opportunity for us to level up, to improve, to do better, to become more. And this concept and idea has really served me in a massive way where I refuse to settle. I refuse to be the same individual year after year, think the same thoughts, have the same habits, have the same priorities solve problems with the same thinking that created them, that is something completely unacceptable to me. And just like in school, most of us have experienced in our lives that, you know, you go from grade one to grade two. And in order to do that, there's a certain level of comprehension. There's a certain level of education. There's a certain level of understanding that is required for you to get a passing grade or even better than that, an exceptional grade, an exceptional score. Now, while I think the school system as we know it today is mostly flawed, I do believe in this idea of leveling up and earning the feeling that this year has been complete, that all the things that are important to me, I prioritized, I improved upon, I dedicated myself to, and there's measurable progress, measurable growth, in the things that matter to me for that particular year of my life because you're quite literally exchanging an entire year of your life for what ended up being the result, right? So that's the first thing that we're going to dive into in just a moment. And then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you something I haven't really done since I started this podcast and I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to share with you how I can help you. And hopefully, if you've been gaining value from my podcast throughout 2023, this might be what you've been searching for or looking forward to. And uh, this offer is only going to be available until the end of the year for the next, you know, four days, three days, whatever it is. And I'm going to share with you at the end what that looks like and what it could possibly mean, whether you're already working inside of the same company as myself, or you're someone who listens to my podcast, isn't currently involved, but possibly looking at adding something into the mix for 2024. This might be the perfect opportunity for you to do that. So let's dive into a little bit around what were my highlights and favorite moments 
of 2023, which also happens to be in perfect alignment with my level 37. For those of you that are not familiar with numerology, I'm a really, really big believer in the power of numerology in our lives. And while I don't do it to the point of, you know, analyzing things every single day and putting it through this numerology filter, like some other people out there do, I do have this uh, belief, this undertone that it really does make a big difference because I've personally lived through that. And I haven't really done an episode on this and, and gotten into the full details, but I'm sure I will get around to it at some, t- some point in 2024. But, you know, the real quick version of this is that I experienced a lot of challenges growing up and felt like I was always just coming short on things that I really wanted to achieve, things that I was excited about. And I was falling into this like pattern of it was just out of reach or I was just second place or whatever. And when I discovered numerology, I I realized that there's a connection between the day that you're born because, you know, God, universe, whatever your beliefs are, you can't predict or time the birthday if you are born naturally without a C-section or something like that's scheduled. But if you're born naturally, you know, you have your expected uh, birthday, And then, as you know, most of the time, people are a little bit early, a little bit late. And I believe that that has a lot to do with fate and destiny and when you're supposed to arrive Earthside in this lifetime. So that's basically, for the most part, not a chosen date, right? But our names are chosen by our parents. And the process of how they choose your name varies from everybody. Sometimes it's religious. Sometimes it's like generationally you're keeping certain names in the family or whatever and I found out that the names that our parents choose usually isn't in connection with the birth date so it's just out of alignment and I found this to be quite fascinating and so back it was probably how many years ago now eight or nine years ago quite a while back I discovered that my birth date had this crazy, powerful significance. I was literally here to change the world, to make a massive impact, to help people, to be a leader, to be an example, all these things. And I felt that in my soul. I I truly felt that that was accurate. I was like, yes, I've always desired that. I always felt that even when I was younger. But there was this whole question mark around like, how? You know, I'm just a normal, regular, average guy. How am I supposed to live up to this calling, this purpose on my life that seems so out of reach because I didn't even really know where to get started. And when I met this lady at this um, Mind, Body, Spirit Expo, she caught my attention and I talked to her and she basically did this quick analysis on my name and on my birthday. And what she discovered that my birthday had this massive vision, power, impact, you know, to change the world, etc. as the purpose of my birth date but my name was limiting me to be stuck in this confusing energy that I would come up short and things would never really fall into place for me and it would feel like I have bad luck in all these different ways and so on. And I was like, that's my life. You're describing it perfectly. And I had just met her. So anyways, long story short, she ended up suggesting that I get an an, an alignment on my name That simply all it did was match the numbers, the numerology of my birthday. That was it. It wasn't to manipulate it or change it. It was basically to just make them a match. And while this seems kind of woo-woo and out there and hard to believe for a lot of people, I was like, all right, that does kind of make sense. Like, I'm open to giving it a shot and seeing what happens. So during this process, she gave me a few different letters to choose from, and I could insert this letter anywhere in my name, beginning, middle, end, whatever it was. And uh, out of those options, the W was a choice. And I kind of played around with the different choices, and I was like, Blage W. Cardos. I'm like, yeah, man, that just sounds good. Like, it sounds powerful. It sounds right. It sounds like me and all this stuff. And so I ended, ended up adding the W. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because what I found out next after all of that was that my my numerology of my birth date and my name had these cycles. 
And we all operate in a nine-year cycle. And a lot of people go through life completely unaware that these cycles exist. And what's really powerful about getting a numerology reading by someone like my close friend, Bobby F. Pariar, who's a part of the GPM community. If you don't know him, reach out to him, get a session booked for uh, yourself. It's the best money you'll spend on just understanding why you are the way you are and how you're connected to your purpose and all this really powerful stuff. So anyways, a guy like Bobby is really powerful because he'll actually share with you these cycles that you're in. And for myself, I'm entering a one cycle year in 2024. So that whole nine years is about to re restart. And this brand new, beautiful nine year cycle begins. And also 2024 is an eight year, two, zero, two, and four adds up to eight. So eight is like the abundance frequency, the wealth, the success, all that. And so I'm going into a new cycle and also entering an eight global year. So 2024 is just going to be massively incredible and successful for all of us, especially when we are on purpose, in alignment with our goals and dreams, taking the right action steps every single day and so forth. But the reason I bring this up, one of the other reasons I'm bringing this up is because of the fact that my birthday is on December 27th and there's this global energy 2023 and global energy 2024. I'm actually only fully in alignment with my cycle year on an energetic frequency vibration from the 27th to the 31st. So many people that have their birthday throughout the year, they have that same shift, but it's like months before and months after. For myself, it's four days, so it's very limited. And the reason why this matters is because there's no conflicting energy between you know last year and next year or level 37, level 38 in terms of my age. So for four days, I have this pure clarity. My thoughts are really in alignment. My soul really speaks to me. And I'm able to really plan out my goals, my intentions, my my vision for the following year. It's a really beautiful time for me. And uh, as I look back now, and the reason why I'm sharing all of this stuff is that when I had those four days last year, right after I turned 37, so much of my intentions and visions and goals has manifested. And it's just really cool to reflect on that. So I wanted to share with you guys that you know, level 38 to me is just really special. Every year is special because I've lost people in my life. One of my best friends ever, he passed away, you know, when he was 30. And so my dad, he passed away at 54. And so life isn't promised or guaranteed for any of us. And a lot of you listening right now just have this hypothetical age that you believe that you're going to live until, right? It might be 70, 80, 90, 100. And while I hope that you're right, and I hope that it's true, tomorrow isn't promised and we never know how much time we have left. And I believe in urgency to truly get the maximum amount of juice out of the squeeze of our lives and not procrastinate, not delay, not go maybe next time, next year, in the future, but now, now is what we have. And so I want to share with you couple of the things that I wrote down before I get into how we could possibly work together or I could maybe become a more official mentor and coach in your life to help you achieve your results that you're looking to create in 2024. So some of my highlights were being a dad. That's by far the top number one highlight for me. It's something that I wanted so badly for so many years and seeing my daughter go from age two to age three has just been so beautiful because her communication skills are so amazing. She's very clear, very articulate. Her reason and understanding is way beyond her years as a three-year-old. I can literally have detailed conversations with her already, and she, there's very little like incorrect grammar. There's very little uh, confusing mumbo-jumbo talk that a lot of younger toddlers and stuff, you're like, what are you even saying? My daughter does very little of that. It's like adult conversation is the best way I can put it. Yes, a lot of the things that adults understand aren't quite there because she doesn't have enough context, but you're just like, you just know what she wants. She's very clear on and everything. She remembers if she says she wants something, you're like, oh yeah, she'll probably forget. She doesn't forget. 
<laughs> so it's just really amazing because you get to understand and learn like how to communicate with her and then her life path is a one. So she's a natural born leader. She calls the shots. She hates being told what to do, has to be her idea. And so numerology has actually helped Margaret and I, my wife and I, to know how to kind of deal with her so much better than if we had no knowledge around this. I'm a life path eight. My wife is a life path three. And so we all have our strengths and weaknesses and like reasons for being here in this world. And so that's been the highlight for sure is just being so present, uh, so flexible and available. My family always comes first. Uh, my, my daughter's activities or things that she's interested in comes first and everything else I can move around to still get things done that are important to me without having to be stuck on a very rigid schedule. And you know, for the first 18 months of my daughter's life, I barely worked. I worked maybe 10 hours a week, which to me is is nothing. And plus, I love what I do, so I didn't really feel like I was working. But around 18 months in, I had this special moment with her where she was in my office on this call that I was doing for my mentorship clients. And she kind of looked up at me and we made this special eye contact and it was like sparks flying. And she kind of was almost like reassuring me without having to say anything like, dad, I want to see you pursue your purpose in life outside of your family, like your mission, your calling, that greater uh, destiny that is tied to your birthday. It's your birthright to create this level of impact on society, on humanity. And so she gave me this like look in her eyes of like, don't retire or don't um, accommodate just because I'm here in this world. Um, continue to strive, continue to do your thing. You're still a great dad. You're still always there for me. You're still created this beautiful life of freedom and abundance and the diamond life for, for the family. But don't stop. Just do it in a way that's in more alignment with where you're at. And it was like this reassurance I needed. So while we talk a lot about freedom, often what gets missed and misunderstood is that freedom represents not doing anything work related, no business, no nothing, and just laying on the beach or, you know, being casual. And I feel like that is uh, an incorrect message because at the end of the day, if you don't have a greater vision for your life, a, a purpose, a goal, a dream that you're striving towards creating, then life loses its value. It loses its luster. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you need to be striving for something to level up, to grow, to become more intentional with who you are and understanding yourself forever. That is part of the game of life. Now, simultaneously, there's this really big difference between I have to and I get to. And I think that the freedom that we all are striving for and looking to create and build in our lives has a lot to do with shifting things from how many things you feel obligated to do, how many things you feel like you have to do in your life, in your day, with your work, with your job, how you make your money, your schedule, you know, uh, your ability to go and do fun things and experiences and all of that stuff. There is a long list for most people. It's like, I have to because, I can't afford it because. Uh, it's not in the budget. It's a lot of limitation, lack, and scarcity, and not really what you actually want, but what you feel like you're able to do, right? And for myself, it's just shifted over the years to being in full alignment with like, if I want to, I can. And if I do it, I... Let me say that again. If I want to, I can. I have the freedom. I have the time. I have the money. And so the decision-making process isn't about those basic things. It's about the, the bigger picture, the greater picture. It's like, is this the right decision to make based upon these other things, right? And so the freedom that I've been able to experience as a dad, as a husband, as a, as a son, as a brother, as a leader, as a mentor, all these different areas has been so much to do with pure 100% options, choices, and making sure those are in alignment with what I actually truly want to do, not what I feel like I'm obligated to do. And so we've had so many special moments and first time experiences together as a family. We traveled so much with her and it's just been the most wholesome time of our lives. 
and I have heard different people talking about this, especially older people like 55, 60, 65 plus, etc. cetera. Um, and old is obviously relative to my age today, right? And they're just talking about how be aware, be mindful that the good old days are actually happening right now in real time. And so when you have this different level of hyper awareness, your gratitude just goes through the roof because there will be a time in the future where my daughter will be old enough to possibly move out from home or to maybe, you know, settle down with another person like a, a man and start a family and things won't be the same. And so now like my wife and I, my, my mom, her grandma, there's a few people in her life that are her entire world. That isn't always going to be this way. And so one day there will be a time where my wife and I will be talking like, do you remember the good old days when she was two, when she was three, when we spent all this time with her and all this kind of stuff. And it's, it's making me emotional just even talking about it because that is my life right now. The good old days are happening right now and they may be happening for you as well or they might be happening for you in the next 5, 10, 15 years or whatever, depending on where you are, what season you're in. But I just, I can't shake this thought. I can't stop thinking about it. Like every day is the good old days right now. It's just so beautiful. Uh, so I'm very, very grateful for this the entire year for that being the number one top, top, top highlight. Because like I said, I worked very hard, very smart for a very long time, as you already know, to give myself that and to give my wife that, to give my family that. And with the world and all these things that are happening in the economy and with politics and inflation through the roof and prices skyrocketing and all this stuff, we haven't really personally experienced anything like that negatively. Like I don't check how much the grocery bill is. I don't check how much gas costs. When I book a flight or a hotel or where I want to stay, it's not dependent on the price. And that is just the most incredible feeling that I wish for you and everyone else listening to my podcast to feel that too, because that's true freedom where it's like, I want to go here and that's it. Run the card. It's not, oh, should we do this or should we do that? Or is this too much? Is that not, you know what I mean? Like that's how a lot of people think. Anyways, moving on. Another part that I'm really proud of myself for, for, for this uh, age is that for men, there is a significant uh, age where you either start to drastically decline or you maintain and grow, especially physically. So at the age of 35, you're in this very unique fork in the road where a lot of people, this is where they let themselves go. This is where they have bad habits. They drink, they eat junk food, fast food, uh, the dad bod, the beer belly, you know, the losing the hair. They're just kind of like drastic decline, testosterone crashes. They don't exercise and it's just, it's very, very, very bad, very quickly. And from 35 to 40 and 40 to 45, you sometimes see photos and updates of people and you're just like, what happened, man? Now for myself, I started training with a personal trainer when I was a few months before my daughter was born. And I've been consistently doing this five times a week, every single week for three years straight. My strength is continuing to grow, to go up. I haven't plateaued. My body composition is changing and shifting. I feel better. I look better. And not only have I maintained my muscle mass from age 35 till now, which is hard to do when you're natural. I'm not on any sort of testosterone or any sort of um, stuff. And I'm not against it. I'm just saying at the moment, I'm not on anything like that. And I haven't been. Uh, I'm. It's like a victory lap, you know, like I'm just proud of myself for sticking to it, maintaining it. He, you know, I'm grateful for my coach to keep showing up and it's just been really, really special time. And we're about to take things to a whole nother level because that's just what we do when we level up to level 38. Another really proud achievement was I had my 10 year business anniversary this year in level 37, which is really cool. So I started my current business when I was 27, you know, with the hopes of retiring by 30, which I was able to do Financially speaking, I didn't have to keep working, but I love what I do and like, why would I stop right at 30? I'm only 30. Let's keep going. But in terms of an obligation of I have to versus I get to and I enjoy it and I want to, that shift happened for me at age 30, level 30. 
I launched my new podcast that you're listening to right now, which has been quite a wild journey. And one of the things that I was told by the company that helped me launch my podcast because I hired a company is that most podcasts do not make it past five episodes. It's five. It's like less than five episodes and they quit. They give up. They don't have any listeners and they get discouraged and they just stop. And one of the suggestions that the podcast team gave me was be consistent. Just release something every single week, the same day, same week, and be, make it so it's predictable for your audience that they know that this is to be expected. They subscribe and they know that they when, when they wake up on a certain day of the week, the podcast episode will be in their app that they listen to. And I, I stuck with that. I took the coaching and mentorship that they gave me and uh, we haven't missed. So literally since March 1st till now, we haven't missed. And obviously that has a lot to do with my team delivering and hitting the deadlines. And, and sometimes we had to pull things from the archives and old calls that I had in the community and whatnot or interviews that I did prior to my podcast, but we've had a new episode every single week on Wednesdays uh, for 10 months. And I'm super, super proud of that because not missing is very important. And as a result of that, we hit number one on Apple in a few cities for personal development, self, self-help, self-growth, and have since crossed 60,000 unique listeners and over 100,000 downloads. So thank you guys for that. Seriously, that is wild. It's it's really interesting for those of you that don't have a podcast or have never thought about it or done this. It's interesting that I'm in my home office, home studio here talking to a camera by myself recording this and then have a 100,000 downloads of this is just the coolest thing that this even exists if that makes sense. From there, I launched my brand new personal brand website, BalajWCardos.com. It was a big project, cost a lot of money. I worked with the top team on that as well. Uh, later on in the year, I hired a new social media content team for Instagram that has helped me post once per day, every single day. Again, the whole idea is to not miss. Daily posting creates a trustable personal brand that people look like they want to follow, they engage with it, and it's predictable, which people want. They want that certainty and predictability in things that they listen to, follow, shows, YouTube, social media, etc. Now, another really fun thing for me is that we traveled quite a bit. We actually traveled a total of three months out of the year with a toddler. <laughs> with a toddler, which is the part that is really powerful is... Traveling with a toddler, a lot of parents won't even attempt it. They're like, no, it's too crazy. It's too unpredictable. It's too stressful, all this kind of stuff. We've embraced it and we've purposely leaned into it with my my wife and my mom of like, man, if not now, when? Like, why wouldn't why wouldn't we travel? These are the most beautiful years of our family's life and we're literally living in the good old days right now, you know? So we went to eight countries. 13 cities and a total of three months traveling. And not only did we travel, we traveled business or first class, five-star hotels, all the greatest experiences, you know, private drivers. Like we traveled in a luxurious, incredible way. There was no, 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 no expenses spared, which I'm only sharing that with you because to travel to that many places in one year on that type of budget, for one, it's not cheap, but for two, it's a completely different experience than backpacking or staying at like some shitty hotel or um, going back to the same place over over and over again. We went to Cancun, Maui, Bali, New Zealand, Vegas, Hungary, London, Sweden, Italy. I went to Beverly Hills multiple times. I got my veneers fully done, full mouth of veneers from the top person in Beverly Hills, Dr. Sam Sella. This teeth costs more than most people's cars. Like it's, it's not a small number, <laughs> but they look amazing and I feel amazing and it was worth every penny. And I'm so grateful I did that. I went to San Diego. I went to Toronto for our 10 year freedom anniversary. We took my daughter to Disney world for a week for her third birthday. And I'm going to Whistler with my brother 
and his girlfriend, Megan, and uh, my wife for four days coming up here just after Christmas. And we're doing it big up in Whistler for my 38th birthday as well. So, you know, it's just like, I think a lot about the fact that if I would have done what I just shared with you so far in 10 years, you know, a lot of people would be like, that's amazing. And to do it in one year just feels completely surreal. Uh, I spoke on stages in six different cities, impacting hundreds of people in person. That's like some of my favorite moments or meeting you guys in person, you know, hugging you, getting a photo with you, hearing your story, answering your questions. I really, really enjoy that and love that. And I give all of myself in those situations. So I did that in six different cities. Then we had this huge like emphasis and focus and run towards rank advancing to 6A2-6 in Enagic. And we literally hit that the final last second before the 49th anniversary convention in Las Vegas. And uh, it was a wild ride. And honestly, like it took all of our efforts. It wasn't a personal single-handed effort by myself by any means. It literally took so many of us to all hit our goals, but we made it happen. And um, I actually just found out yesterday that my wife's position in Enagic is about to hit 6A2-5 before the end of 2023, which is just another beautiful uh, milestone and leveling up achievement that our family gets to have in 2023. So I'm super, super grateful for that. And the best part about all of this is that hundreds of people ranked up inside of my organization, the Global Prosperity Movement. So, you know, bonuses quitting their jobs, being able to buy houses, travel the world, have really cool experiences with their kids. That is all like a result of our collective energy and effort in what we're doing. And that makes me the happiest. Of course, I'm sharing some personal highlights and personal things on my birthday, but all of it wouldn't be worth it if only I was winning or only my family was winning. What makes this the most beautiful thing ever is that we are just an inspiring example of what's possible for all of you listening and we're just a couple of steps in front. And so anything that I'm talking about right now that I'm sharing with you is more than possible for yourself to accomplish as well. So that's the beautiful part is if you're listening to this, make sure that you're listening to it from a perspective of it's a preview of my life's coming attractions if you wish or choose to really go all in as I've talked about on some of the recent podcast episodes. What else? So we officially became the number one Dash 6 organization in Enagic globally and have won first place in the monthly contest since the second that I hit Dash 6. So in August, September, October, November, and we're on track to do it again in December. And what's really crazy about this is that, you know, my... Residual income, passive income from the four different legacy accounts that we have built over the years, over the last decade with Enagic already pays us millions of dollars a year. But this contest has actually paid extra, right? And it's paid $148,000 US in just the past four months of contest earnings, The company is just so incredibly generous for producers, for performers, for people that bring the most amount of value and change the most amount of lives. They compensate and and reward you extra money. It's just so incredible because that's how I operate anyways. I believe that all of us get what we earn, right? You get what you deserve. You get who you believe you are. If you believe you are a top income earner, a top producer, a top leader, and then you back it up by your actions and produce those results, then you should have an incredible lifestyle. You should have tons of cash because this business model is directly tied to the amount of lives and people that you impact and help. So there's two sides to it. On one side, it's a personal development business model. I got a, I got a spider on crawling on my camera lens. Get out of here, bro. You're messing with my birthday podcast episode, yo. <laughs> uh, you know, on one hand, it's a personal development business model with the compensation plan attached to it. So the more you grow personally, the more you will be compensated for that transformation. That's one half of it. But then the other half of it is the lives that you change, the lives that you impact, right? Zig Ziglar, one of my favorite quotes of all time is, if you help enough other people get what they want, 
eventually you will have everything that you want. It's a direct correlation. So if you want more income, you got to help other people generate and create more income. If you want to travel more, help more people, you know, have the freedom to travel more as well. And so as you focus on giving and serving and leading, you actually get this direct compensation tied back to it. And that's why for me, when I'm sharing my my success or my highlights or these things, never, ever, ever forget that it's in direct correlation to how many lives I have personally helped, um, obviously not directly, but indirectly by the choices that I made, by the leadership that I've had, and you can do the same thing as well. So it's really, really exciting. Then, you know, I'll wrap up the highlights with a couple of things here is that in the first 90 days of hitting 682-6, my income grew and, you know, this quantum leap because of the rank and because of uh, how the compensation plan works. And I earned 1.3 million passively in the first 90 days of being this new rank. Literally nothing else changed except for being the new rank, which is just incredible. And during that same time, same 90 days, we sold $50 million USD in product sales in that 90 day period. And $35 million out of that got paid to our GPM family's bank accounts so that everybody can benefit and live free. You know, like it's just unreal how powerful that is to have my personal organization on track to do $200 million in sales and have over a hundred and something million of that paid back to us in the first 12 months of being Dash 6 is just absolutely unheard of in this industry to do that type of volume. Some companies that have been around a really, really long time don't even do that kind of volume. So it's just humbling. And so I'm so incredibly grateful that this is happening. And like I said, in my November edition of the eFriends newsletter, when I was on the cover, I shared that this is the beginning of the diamond decade. And even though the results are pretty outstanding, it's still a warm up. It's still small time because now all of us collectively get to do these massive numbers in our own businesses. So let's say we now have 50 people that are doing these numbers or 100 people doing these numbers, then that means we 100 x the numbers that I just shared with you. So it's really, really cool. And I'm super excited for what's to happen next in level 38. We are also celebrating the four year anniversary of me starting my Diamond Life Mentorship and Coaching Program. And we grew by 500% this year. And we helped 280 new clients get better results in their life and business, get clarity, get more confidence, have breakthroughs, get their first sales, have their first 10K months, have their first 50K months, have their first 100K months. And uh, it's amazing because I started the Diamond Life Mentorship out of a necessity and a need. People kept hitting me up, wanting coaching, wanting my time one-on-one. -on -one. And I was doing my best to help people, but I just didn't have capacity and, uh, and then that's when I was like, well, maybe what I can do is just have this option for people if they want to, to get more access, more proximity, be able to ask me questions around what they're stuck with, where they're at, and then me give them like very direct coaching in this group environment that has proven to be just immensely valuable for all the clients, as you've probably seen with our client success interviews, our testimonials and our social media accounts, like it's it's nonstop. People winning, you know, saying that they got ROI in their very first uh, call, or in some cases they listened to a recording from a previous call before they even had their first live call with me. They already feel like they got ROI. And I always say to people, I'm like, look, if you're in a high ticket business where you can make high ticket commissions, you have to look at it from a perspective of, do you think that if you were learning from the number one dash six in the whole company, in the whole world, that you could make one extra direct sale after you got coaching from me at some point? Because if you, if you say, yes, of course I can make at least one extra sale based on what you learn from me, then that's going to cover your investment. So we're not saying like you need 10 or 20 or 30 direct sales to get an ROI from my coaching and mentorship if we're only talking about financially, does it make sense to invest in coaching and mentorship? It's literally just one more sale. 
<laughs> so this is the reason why when people find out how much it costs for the mentorship, they're like, oh, that's it. I thought it would be more. And, uh, and it's so simple for people to actually get a return on their investment. And then once the big thing for you to really understand is that I'm teaching people how to fish. I'm not giving them a fish. And you probably heard that before is like, what's more valuable if I just keep giving people a fish or if I teach you how to fish and you can catch fish for the rest of your life. And so the mentorship and coaching is like shifting your identity to become a winner, to become a producer, to become a leader that actually gets big income and it has the capacity to hold more income. And once you learn how to do that, you can do it on repeat month over month over month over month over month. And so your ROI is literally infinite from the moment you invest and then how you apply that continuously for your future. And so it's literally priceless. And this is the reason why I believe it's so powerful, this concept that I teach in my mentorship called pay to play, which means that in a lot of cases, in order for you to up level in your life, you need to surround yourself with people that are playing the game of life at a higher level than you. They already have the results that you desire and you got to get into proximity to these people, meaning they see you as well. It's one thing to be on social media and watch somebody's content and learn from it, which I'm sure you do for my content and other people's content, but they don't know you. That's the thing. So like, you, I have 60,000 unique listeners on my podcast as an example in 2023. I don't know 60,000 people listening. I have no clue. I don't know who you are. But when you pay to play, you get access and you get proximity. All of a sudden, I see your face. I see your name. I get to know your story. When you ask questions, I ask you questions back. And it doesn't take me very long to all of a sudden know you back. Does that make sense? So when you, when you hear people say your net work your net worth is your network. It's not who you know. It's not what you know, it's who you know. That's what you've heard before that quote, right? It's not what you know, it's who you know. But it's incomplete. The actual power behind this is it's not what you know, it's who you know that knows you, that final piece. And so I've been investing, you know, close to a million dollars in the last decade to get closer proximity to people that have the results that I want in all different categories of life. And so that is also an option for people when you're considering, you know, investing into coaching mentorship with myself is that you're paying for access, you're paying for um, proximity. And then all of a sudden from there, you can develop a friendship, you can develop, you know, other things in the future. Uh, but that's often the first step because otherwise one person like me doesn't have capacity to talk to 60,000 people, for example, or have relationships with 60,000 people or all that stuff. It doesn't make any sense. And therefore, every single person who's a coach, who has a mastermind, who has a mentorship, this is how they think, how they operate. And so there needs to be levels of access that is often determined by investment, right? Um, so anyways, um, just going off on a bit of a rant there, but I just want to thank all of you guys for your support. I want to thank you for listening to the podcast, for sharing the podcast, for tagging at Balaj W. Cardos in these episodes and our official at the Diamond Life Mentor Instagram account as well. It's just been, you know, so, so special. And I do have one little thing that I would love to ask from you for my birthday. You can call it a birthday present or a birthday gift if you want to, but Currently, we're putting together a really powerful project for 2024, and it requires a lot of testimonials and real people's results. And so if you're listening to my podcast and you feel that I have provided you some value, whether it's from the podcast, from the business, from my calls, from my trainings, doesn't matter what it is that has helped you have success, has ha helped you get results, make more income or be happier, or create more freedom, whatever that might be, I would uh, like to ask you to take a moment right now or right after you listen to this episode. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be a big complicated thing, but just take your smartphone, get some good lighting so you're not in like your mom's basement in like a closet or something, but get some good lighting, get some good audio and just do a selfie style video, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and just drop me a little testimonial of like what value you've learned from me, what results you've been able to create. Have you made a bunch of money? Have you been able to quit your job? Have you been able to travel? Whatever, you know, whatever's true, don't lie, make it true. And um, and hit us up, you know, get, put it in a Google Drive 
folder with the link where we can access it and download it and just send it over to us, right? Send it over to my Instagram or send it over to uh, the Diamond Life Mentor Instagram or the official Diamond Life Instagram. And please share that with us. That would be like the most amazing birthday present to collect a whole bunch of these from everybody that has been getting value from myself for, you know, a period of time. And also, if you haven't taken a moment to rate and review the podcast on Apple, Spotify, you know, that's how Apple and Spotify determine the ranking system on podcasts, right? The more five-star reviews you have, the more shares you have, the more downloads you have. That's basically how you can gauge which podcasts are worth listening to. So if you feel like my podcast is worth listening to, you get value from it, you look forward to it, it would be amazing for you to leave a five-star review. If you feel like it's worth five stars, leave an honest little review, share it on social media and all that stuff. It really does make a difference and that would be the ultimate birthday present and I really appreciate that. And finally, before we wrap up this birthday episode, I wanted to talk to you about how you could possibly work together with me and the two options that are available for 2024 and some of the changes that are happening. So currently, I have three ways that someone could technically work with me. The first way is if you're not currently building an agic and you're not building a online business in the direct sales affiliate marketing space, there's an opportunity for you to work directly with me. And if you're looking to make more money, if you're looking to serve your family, quit your job, travel more, you know, really live a life of freedom and purpose, then there's an opportunity for you potentially, if you're a good fit, to work with me directly, which is going to require an investment or a line of credit or, you know, investing in yourself and a business, which is also tax write-off for 2023. And if that's you, you can go to my website, bellagewcardos.com, and you will see a button in the top right corner that says book a call. And there's a little questionnaire that you can fill out. You can fill that out if you'd like me to teach you how I've built this empire that's doing $200 million a year in sales in a decade. That's option one. Now, for those of you listening, the majority of you are already going to be in an Agic, so that doesn't apply to you. I don't accept people to reaffiliate with me or any of that stuff that's out of integrity. I don't do that. So you're already in an Agic, perfect. You're in the right place. Keep building it, keep growing it, which leads me to the next option, which is if you are feeling like you resonate with my message, the way I think, my philosophies, my podcast, then imagine what it would be like for you to ask me questions in a group coaching environment with, with coaching and mentorship available to you that at the moment is so affordable that, like I said, if you're able to make an additional direct sale with what I teach you, it's going to get you an ROI right away. And so what we're doing is for the remainder of this month, December of 2023 until midnight, PST, we have a crazy offer that we've never done before. It's wild. It's if you invest in the Diamond Life Accelerator, which is my lower tier program or my higher tier program, the Diamond Life Blueprint, we're going to give you a six-week ads accelerator program to just dial in your targeting, dial in your ads. It's a phenomenal uh, program that's valued at $2,000 USD. And it's actually being taught by my ads, my personal ads guy, Sam, who's been running my ads most of 2023. And if you're listening, the chances are you've seen my ads promoting my mentorship and coaching and the retargeting that he does and how, you know, every time you log on to social media, you're going to see one of my ads, one of my testimonies, one of that's all Sam. It's his genius. He's literally the best in the game. And that's why he works with me. And he's putting this course together for everybody at no charge. So you get a $2,000 ads accelerator course, no charge. It's going to be live for six weeks starting mid-January 2024. If you book a call with my team and go to diamondlifementorship.com, book a call with my team and make sure that you get in prior to December 31st. This offer goes away. And not only does the offer go away at the end of this year, we're actually changing our pricing and increasing our pricing by roughly 25% more than it is right now. So you have an opportunity to save 25% on the cost of the mentorship and get a $2,000 ads accelerator bonus if you're called to level up in 2024. If you really want to take things next level, have me as your coach and mentor, that's available to you if you desire that, if you feel ready and called for that. 
I just wanted to give you a heads up. You may have already seen it on our social media channels. You may have seen me in, a, in an ad talking about this as well. But I'm just telling you that if you have been thinking about it and you're like, oh, maybe I will in the future, whatever, it's up to you when you do it. It's up to you, whatever, whatever's going on. It's all good. But it, prices will go up January 1st, 2024. And the ads accelerator bonus is gone and it's going to be for sale after that as a standalone course program, third party to the Diamond Life because it's Sam's stuff. It's not Diamond Life related. We're just in partnership working together. So I wanted to offer that to you. So basically one of three ways to work with me. One, start an online business directly. And if you do that and you make an investment of our top package called the Trifecta, I'm actually going to throw in my Diamond Life Accelerator program at no extra cost if you're direct to me in my business. So there's a value there of, you know, thousands of dollars. Uh, if you're already in an Agic, fantastic. Then you could, you know, come inside my Diamond Life Mentorship Program. And depending on where you are in your business, if you're new, if you're a certain rank, how much money you're making, my incredible team on the phone will help answer all of your questions to make sure you understand what it is, if it's for you, if it's not for you. And uh, determine whether the accelerator or the blueprint is a better fit. And basically, you know, if you're wondering if it is for you or not for you, just how you have to think about it is a couple of different things. What you're really paying for, like I said, is access and proximity. Those are the two top things that are worth, it, they're priceless. And so we have a call bi-weekly every two weeks for two hours. It's, it's primarily Q&A. We have a Facebook group that we're going to be switching to a custom app in 2024, which is going to be amazing. But for now, it's a Facebook group. And your ability to ask a question is on a voting system. So there's like quite a few people in there. Everybody can ask a question and then you can like the question and vote on it. And the top votes are the ones I prioritize on the group coaching calls. You can unmute yourself. You can interact with me. You can ask me questions. We can kind of jam out, make sure that it lands, make sure that you have a breakthrough. And then every two weeks, what we're really doing is making whatever challenge that an obstacle that you're running into, we turn that into a win. So like I'm struggling with generating leads. Great. Let's talk about that. Then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I get it. This is why I'm not getting leads. Great. And then two weeks later on our next call, my goal for you is for you to say my win is that I'm now generating leads. And two weeks ago you weren't. Make sense? So we're able to make these massive shifts and breakthroughs in your life, in your business every couple of weeks where we take your challenge, turn it into a win, take your challenge, turn it into a win. Imagine where you're going to be in 12 months if you have 20 something opportunities to take your challenge and make it a breakthrough. It's just priceless. And then the second part about this is proximity. You're going to be hanging around other individuals inside the same company, same business as you that you can have accountability with, you can make friends with, you can meet up with separately outside of the coaching program and actually hold each other accountable to elevating your results, elevating your business. And so a lot of people inside my mentorship have said, man, I met my best friend inside this program. They're not even my upline, downline, sideline, whatever you want to call it. They're just a great person. You know, some of the stuff that they're sharing on the group coaching calls really resonated with me. They're the same age as me. They're from the same country as me or whatever you have in common. You reach out to each other privately, get together, and that helps people produce better results. Also, that proximity of winners, successful people who see the value in being a part of a high level mentorship and coaching with the number one dash six in the whole company globally. So like I said, I don't do this podcast to pitch you stuff. I'm not trying to like um, sell you this big thing, but I did feel like it was valuable and important to just keep you in the loop, give you an update and let you know that January 1st, 2024, the prices are going up by 25% because of demand. It's all about supply and demand, right? I want to work with the best people. I don't want to have just anybody coming in here and the best people are going to see the value. They're going to invest into themselves and I'm going to help them get epic results. So that's happening. And then we're also filming this live ads accelerator starting mid-January and we're throwing that in as a $2,000 value bonus for everybody who gets in at our current prices. So We've never had an offer this great in four years since I started this mentorship. And for anybody, like I said, you listen to my podcast, you like my content, you like my training and so forth. Maybe you've been planning on getting involved in the mentorship at some point. And all I'm trying to say is now would be the perfect time for you to do that. So book a call. You're going to see in the show notes a button that says book a call. 
and there's limited availability because obviously my entire team is also on holidays for the remainder of December for the most part, and they've opened up their calendars uh, specifically for you. They're doing it as a favor to you because they could have told me like, I'm unavailable. So the last thing I'm going to say is under no circumstances, you should book a call if you don't have the integrity to show up to the call. This has been happening quite a bit and it's super frustrating because by you wasting our time and wasting your time by saying you're going to do something that you don't do, you're automatically disqualified from being in my mentorship. We're literally going to email you and tell you that you are not a good fit because that's not how we operate, right? If we want to get results, we have to keep our word to ourselves. We have to show up and we have to have the courtesy to not just no show or ghost us when people during their holidays have made their time available to you and then it gets wasted and someone else who is going to show up doesn't have any availability left in the calendar. And so that is just really frustrating and it's one of my biggest pet peeves. So if you're going to click the link and book a call, make sure that if you select a time, you, you have the reminders, you show up, you're serious, you're ready to go and you're ready to invest into yourself for 2024. And if not, that's perfectly okay but just don't take up the space and then ghost us when someone else is going to want that spot. All right. So that's it for this episode. I just want to finish off by saying level 37 has been incredible, outstanding. I'm so grateful. And um, it's kind of wild that I'm at level 38 now because, you know, as we know, it's always kind of sneaks up on you like, wow, it's almost level 40. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, but once again, we're going to be bringing to you guys improved podcast, improved episodes, taking things next level, bringing interviews to the mix. We have a custom app coming in 2024. Uh, we have just better everything on the horizon and really taking things to the next level because that's just what we do around here and that's what we encourage and inspire and coach you to do as well. So thank you for listening. I hope that you can take a minute or two out of your day to leave us a five-star review on the podcast, to film a little selfie style testimonial video on any value that you've received, any results that you've gotten, and drop that to my team uh, in a prompt, quick fashion. Like, just practice doing it now. Like, don't overthink it. Don't make it a big deal. As soon as you're done this episode, boom, turn on your phone, start talking, first take doesn't have to be perfect all good send it over to us and let's let's get a whole bunch of these testimonials that would literally be the best birthday present ever and finally reminder if that the mentorship has been on your radar the best time to lock it in is right now because in the new year price goes up and also the bonuses are gone and the investment is still going to be an absolutely incredible investment regardless, but it will just happen to be 25% more than now. All right. Thanks for listening. Much love to you. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode on the first Wednesday of 2024, which is going to be all around how to make 2024 the best year you've ever had so far. Can't wait for that episode. And I'll see you on that one. Take care, my friends, and hope you had a great holidays with your family. Thank you.